What's up, it's you? For today's video, we have a Dreepy Sweep. Dreepy is a tiny little dragon, and this dragon doesn't know many special or physical attacking moves. Like, look at that list on there. Birdman Brett, this one is to you. Thank you for all love over on the Twitch streams. Tonight, people, is a very special video. We haven't done one for a while. It is an undercover pip night video. Now, today, I will be Daryl Dreepy. If you haven't seen one of these videos before, pretty much what I do is I go into a chat room uh, like Discord, and I pretend I don't know a lot about Pokemon. So I ask for battles against many people. Sometimes I get some really good battles and some really friendly people that are awesome, but sometimes I come across the saltiest players you could ever imagine in the world, and this is what these videos are about. Of course, it's all entertainment and good fun, and I really hope you people enjoy. If you guys want to check me out on Twitch, make sure you do. I do all my battles and stuff over there. Link in the description. Okay, so the start of this battle took a little bit of setup, right, because obviously Dreepy isn't the strongest Pokemon out there, and it's, of course, its move pool is very, very limited too. I'll put its stats on the screen somewhere around here or you know before I actually get into the actual Pokemon sweep okay so we got a Toxapex here now Toxapex is always a very difficult Pokemon to come against and uh, we're gonna be using a double here now double is actually pretty good it gets a good speed uh, stat which is nice and it gets a lot of bulk too with a fluffy ability and it's only a normal type right so it's only weak to one thing so I've got a rest lumberry set here which actually works pretty well I'll do some more in-depth explanation on the sets at the you know, end of the video like I always do too so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try and get as many sword dancers up as possible now we got Aggie Sash coming in I'm definitely thinking it's gonna go for a fighting type move and uh, man this guy was actually kind of rude at the start because I was like good luck have fun and uh, yeah he, he spat that at me so I thought okay well we're gonna we might have a battle here I'm not sure now sometimes in these battles right I have um, the, the Pokemon sweep will fail right so I can't obviously put the video up and also the chat there were people about the questions about the chat these chat logs that are coming up on the screen are from discord right so basically I cut them out and I put them on this so there's no like live uh, typing chat on sword and shield there's a couple of people asking that last time I just thought I'd clear that one up it'd be nice if there was it'd be great if I could uh, you know voice chat with the people but uh, often Often when I ask, they don't want to, and you know, that, that's fair enough too, but uh, that would be amazing if we could get like a voice chat during Sword and Shield. Man, these these videos will be taken to another level. Anyway, so we got the uh, Ninjask, and we got the uh, Fluffy combo here. So, both of them know Baton Pass, and I thought they'd be a pretty good combo, right? Because I could easy swap Ninjask into any fighting type moves. So, this Aggie Slash is going to be kind of annoying. I'm not sure if it's got Shadow Sneak yet. I'm, you know, kind of about to test whether it does or not. So, going for the sub here, I get the sub off, which is really good. Pretty much here, we've got all the, I, I was like, I'm using Fury Gun. They kind of knew what I was doing in the Ninjas, right? Ninjas, when you see a Ninjas, it's always going to do Baton Pass, right? So I was in a little bit of a predicament here. How do I get the Dreepy in? Like, I was thinking, right, okay, it's got a Fighting Time move, it's got a Ghost Time move. I've got to somehow get the Dreepy in either getting the Aggie Sash to swap or swapping the Dreepy into a fighting type move here. So what I had to do, right, is I really had to try and bait that fighting type move with uh, my double, and which worked pretty well. Like, um, that's why I chose double, because double and Dreepy work well, because double is obviously weak to fighting, and that could, you know, maybe possibly allow me to swap in uh, my Dreepy. So go for another substitute here. Pretty much, I noticed on the team, there was a couple of really, well, one really, really fast Pokemon, which is quite ironic what it is, and uh, you might be able to see it in the thumbnail. Um, I was actually very worried about that. So I needed a lot of speed boost to pass on to Little Dreepy. So getting another speed boost. I think we're about two speed boosts here um, on the Ninjas, and I'm at plus six in attack. I'm going to be going for a double Baton Pass. So this was actually a Baton Pass back and forth. So going into the double here, I wanted to try and see how well they were good at like predicting my moves and stuff. So back in the double, we're going to swap into the Shadow Ball here. I was positive they were going to go for a fighting type move here. I took the risk, and it's Dreepy time, people. I hope you enjoy the video.
Well, people, it looks like I'm going to court over this one. I hope you enjoyed the... Oh, the reactions were so funny. The $25 Charizard, guys. A $25 Charizard. You can get on surprise track. <laughs> anyway, um, I, man, I don't even know what to say. I've lost my track of four. Oh, yeah, i got to say this thing, too, because this is important. I may not have a undercover video for a while now, because obviously the server that I was trolling and having good entertainment on, uh, they permanently ban me. Like, every time I go there with another account, they know that it's me, and they just keep banning me. So I've got to take my uh, fun times and uh, entertainment and trolling somewhere else. So I don't know when we'll have another server that I'll be able to put out some videos for. But, uh, yeah, um, I tried to go in there with Zachary Zacian. Maybe I should change my names up a little bit. I'm not sure, but I, I feel like they're, like, good like funny names of the struggles Aceon was my next sort of target there. All right, let's have a quick look at my team. Uh, here we had the basic uh, Baton Pass combo with Ninjas, and uh, we had a double there too. I had Astonish, which had a 30% flinch chance. I had Infiltrator. If you remember during the battle, they set up Reflect. That actually didn't matter at all. That's why I was joking saying that Reflect did so much if that didn't make sense. I also had Facade 2, Dragon Tower, and Substitute. I mean, the only move I could probably put on this was Sucker Punch. But uh, I felt it was already going to be fast enough, so I didn't really need Sucker Punch and stuff. And I thought Sub Shoot would be handy. Dragon Tail absolutely sucked as long as it was in... Like, it was in Dynamax. It was good. Outside of that, it was, uh, it was bad. Now, I actually uh, knew they were going to go for Toxic, and I deliberately let myself get poisoned because I needed Facade. Facade was going to do a lot more damage than, like, you know, the other moves. That's pretty much it for this battle, people. I hope you had a, a good laugh. Like the video if you enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time. Peace.